so now I'm going to show you how to do some particle post processing and if you see your assignment handout you need to answer two questions for the turbulence intensity and the wall flask so you know we have two different fluorides so we need to present two figures for two different fluorides but you don't need to do post processing for the particle okay I will explain that on later so let's go to the contour and if you go to the contours so then select the wall flask and then you will see here the wall shear stress so select the wall shear select the surface so like I said this is wall and click on display so um, in this case uh, actually you can see the wall shear is something like this so this is the wall shear if you check the water and then click on display you can if you minimize this value maybe to on let's see how it works you can see the wall shares so if you want to phrase in some better figure then maybe you can just play with that values so yeah you see this is the wall share then it's showing the wall share stress is higher here higher in, at this bifurcation area especially you see this binding area so this is how you will show the wall share and you did this mistake for your first report uh, I told you a couple of times try to avoid this green uh, blue background so what you can do is um, there are two ways but I'm showing you the simple way so this is you need to go to the file and um, you can click on the save pictures then just select this white background and then if you save it yeah you need to select actually where you want to save select your directory and then save it then you will see so let's say I'm going to save this one in in my C drive maybe okay so this in this folder and this is a file and so if I click on OK so like you say it should be in the C drive this is this folder and like you say they it modified um, I can't exactly remember what is the name but let's like see this is actually a video okay let's save again um, click apply I think save Windows C this working folder um no it's, it's not oh, it's still showing this one so the C the working folder so it should be here let's say one and click on OK yes this one so you see um, this is the wall share stress so definitely um, you can see some gap between this list and then this figure so make sure that you have nice presentation definitely don't present this way make some good orientations and prepare some good figure that's the key thing for the report so that's how you will create the figures with white background um, now the turbulence intensity the same thing go to the contours and um, select the contours of turbulence and you see it is turbulence kinetic energy so select the turbulence intensity where you want to show the turbulence intensity at the wall and click on save or display so you can see it's quite green so you blow um, so you see we can't see anything but the laser ended it's showing that we have the values like 16 see the maximum value here yeah, this is 16.39 but we can't see anything here so maybe it is showing the global range so if I you know remove that auto range and if I or decrease the value like I said to if I click on display then you can see we can um, clearly see some better turbulence intensity at the inlet and at this bifurcation area so if you reduce this number a little bit more it will give you much better figures so see the turbulence intensity higher here and here um, if I make it maybe 0.5 see see it looks much better so due to the resolution it's showing some missing sections 
but it's okay. Um, so you maybe you can make it point eight or something like that. So you see how it looks. So it is much better than the previous one. So now we can see at least the, the turbulence intensity higher here and here. So this is the way you can um, make your presentation much better. Now say um, how to show the the separation. Some of you asked me which one is in light, which one is out light. Anyways, um, so this is you see um, your domain. We have one branch, a single branch. This is the in light, and the other one you can see the two outlet two you know bifurcations that should be your outlet so in this case this is inlet this is outlet um, we have we need to calculate the you know the particle uh, efficiency separation efficiency through this two outlet so what you can do is you can go to the um, particle tracks so then click on setup then you will get this select this in the action click on this summary and save a display then it will show you this history here so look um, it says escaped through zone 6 yeah so this is escaped through zone 6 is 405 particle through zone 7 418 particle now the thing is um, let me display the domain so we don't know who is on it zone 6 and zone 7 so what you can do, you can go to your boundary conditions, and we have our this outlet. So if I click on this outlet on, you can see this is zone six, outlet two. This is zone seven. So now we can identify. Okay, this 405 particle goes through the outlet one, and 418 it is goes through the outlet two. So among this. You see 800, so 405, 418, so 823. So among this 823 particle, 405 goes through outlet 1. So we'll calculate the percentage. So that's the efficiency, the separation efficiency through outlet 1 and outlet 2. So you need to use that valve for your assignment and just follow the handout, read the question carefully. If it says okay, plot, then you definitely need to plot. The table is not enough that you should keep in mind. So that's how you will calculate the uh, the deposition efficiency. That means sorry, the separation efficiency. So I showed how to do how to show the wall shear, how to show the turbulence intensity, and I believe you guys know the rest of the thing like how to calculate the axial velocity profiles and uh, the other thing and Yes, yeah, so for the axial velocity profile, definitely you need to make some comparisons. So what you can do for the axial velocity profile, you can draw a line at this, the inlight section and two outlight sections, and then you can draw five, three different axial velocity profiles and compare what is happening for two different flourishes. So if you attended the class, then you already know I showed you. Anyway, so that's all actually I wanted to show you today. Um, if you get any question, definitely you can attend the consultation on Friday and you can ask me, uh, I'd be happy to help you. Thanks for watching.